Hello my dear friends welcome back to the channel and this is your friend Dr Suresh Anvi In the last two videos of the impression material series we covered alginate and agar which belong to the hydrocolloid elastic impression material meaning they are water based and have elastic property in nature We learned about its advantages disadvantages and various aspect but there is another important category of impression materials which is also elastic in nature but they are not hydrocolloid in composition these groups are also called as rubber based impression materials but in general in the textbook you will find it under the heading elastomers and that is what we are going to learn today this is a very important topic for all the exams and whether it was neat or the us exams which have appeared all the questions were mostly related to the properties but if you want to remember the properties it is important to understand the composition which will help you to remember the properties in a very simple way and that's what we are covering in this first video of the elastomeric impression materials if you see the overall composition of any non aqueous elastomeric impression material you will see that they are mostly composed of large molecules of polymer these polymers are in a three dimensional form but have a very weak bond between them and whenever you put a stress for example you are removing the impression from the mouth this stress will open up these weak bonds and once this stress is relieved the material will try to come back to its original position allowing accurate recording of the tissue because of the elastic nature please note that these materials are very similar to the natural rubber but they are synthetic in nature and most of these impression materials are hydrophobic continue watching the video and you will know the answer for the most important question that is which is the only elastomeric impression material which is hydrophilic in nature Based on the chemical composition you will find four types of elastomeric impression material the first being the polysulfide then the condensation silicon then the addition silicon and we also have polyether let us first learn the polysulfide elastomeric impression material polysulfide was introduced in 1950 as an alternative to overcome the disadvantage of hydrocolloids that is the dimensional instability and low tear strength and this material had improved those two properties the setting reaction is very simple you start with a liquid polymer and that polymer is polysulfide polymer and more precisely you can call it as polyfunctional mercaptan the mercaptan group is very important because this is where the structure of the polymer grows this is generally provided in the base paste of the impression material If you see the structure of this polymer you will find mercaptan at two important sites the first being the terminal and the second being the pendant and both have its own role the chain lengthening will happen initially at the terminal sh groups and whereas the cross linking will happen at the pendant mercaptan groups so the reaction basically aims to convert the liquid polymer to a rubber like material and this process is called as vulcanization of rubber but please note that there is no other monomer in the polymer structure apart from the polysulfide polymer to convert this liquid polymer to a rubber like material we have to add certain agents like sulfur but this will only act at a very high temperature so to convert the liquid polymer to a rubber like material at room temperature we add cross linking agent and that cross linking agent is lead dioxide and this is generally present in the tube of the catalyst paste and this is what gives the brown color to the impression material this acts as a initiator and this will oxidize these terminal groups and that material will convert to a thick rubber like material but if you see the reaction the important by product of this reaction is water which you have to remember because that may be asked in the exam apart from this this two page system may have various components and that is given in this chart the role of filler is to increase the strength whereas the dibutyl phthalate acts as a viscosity modifier and apart from that you also add a very little quantity of sulfur which acts 
as a accelerator the catalyst has the additional components like oleic acid and stearic acid which controls the reaction as a retarder the mixing is very simple you take equal length of the paste of base and catalyst and then you mix it very similar to like mixing zinc oxide eugenol paste till you get the uniform color which gives good property to the impression but the main issue with this impression material was it was messy and smelly and that was because of the lead dioxide which also used to permanently stain the clothes to overcome this disadvantage the lead dioxide was replaced with copper hydroxide which made the paste greenish in color but there was still need for an improved impression material to overcome this disadvantage and that led to introduction of condensation silicon which was the first silicon impression material to be used in dentistry and it became very popular because it was odorless and you can pigment this impression material with any color as the name says the reaction here is a condensation polymerization and in any condensation polymerization you need at least two different monomers and along with that there will be definite production of a by product so let us understand the chemistry as mentioned there are two monomers the first being the polymethyl silicone and then you had the alkali silicate which is generally the tetraethyl ortho silicate in composition and there was also a need for the activator which can start this reaction of polymerization to form the 3d structure and that was done by the stainus octate and the end product that is the elastomer occurs through cross linking between the terminal groups of silicon polymer and the alkali silicate to form a three dimensional network as mentioned there will be a by product and the by product was ethyl alcohol which led to its evaporation very fast leading to the contraction of this impression material which was the inherent disadvantage of condensation silicon and asked very commonly in the exams apart from that you had various other important components in the composition like silica as a filler so hence again the research continued and there was introduction of addition silicon as a undergraduate student we all mix alginate but when you come into practice and if you are doing a permanent impression for crowns and bridges this is the material which you will be using a lot this impression material is also called as polyvinyl silicon impression material or vinyl polysilicon impression material the difference between the addition polymerization and the condensation polymerization is that although this also requires minimum two monomers in the polymerization but ideally there is no by product and that's a very important difference between the addition polymerization and condensation polymerization which you have to remember the two monomers were polymethyl hydroxy silicone and then dimethyl silicone with vinyl terminal group and the polymerization required a catalyst and that was the platinum salt catalyst which is chloroplatinic acid a liquid with high concentration of platinum this led to the addition polymerization and the three dimensional structure of the elastomer but there is a very important mcq which you have to remember in this addition polymerization reaction although i said there is no by product but if the base polymer comes in contact with the moisture then it is going to form a by product that is hydrogen this hydrogen is because of the secondary reaction and that's why most of the textbooks do recommend that you wait for 30 minutes before pouring this impression of addition silicon if not you will find lot of dots on your cast because of the hydrogen gas this is the composition of addition silicon and we have discussed the important components along with this there is another important mcq in addition silicon the latex gloves can inhibit the setting of addition silicon and the reason is very clearly given in this textbook basically the sulfur compounds 
from the latex rubber start inhibiting the platinum containing catalyst which we know is very important for the setting of the impression material and that's why this prevents the setting this is very commonly asked in the exam although the properties were improved which we'll be discussing in the next video but both addition silicon and condensation silicon were hydrophobic in nature simultaneously in germany in 1960 there was also introduction of another impression material that was polyether which was basically long chain of polyether copolymered with alternating oxygen atom and methylene groups and reactive terminal group please note this terminal group which is highlighted with the orange arrow which is the most important aspect to remember in the setting reaction this r group is called as reactive terminal ring and sometimes the textbook mention it as aziridine rings when you add a initiator that is aromatic sulfonate ester to this impression material it acts as a cationic starter and this cationic starter is going to open up this reactive terminal ring and once this reactive terminal ring is opened up the chain lengthening will continue forming a three dimensional structure in the polyether and apart from that this charts also mention the various other components which are put in this impression material polyether is the only material that is truly hydrophilic in nature because it exhibits lowest contact angle and that is because it has polar oxygen atoms which have an affinity for water and because of this this question is very commonly asked in the exam although we learned the various composition of different elastomeric impression material but according to ada number 19 the impression is classified based on its consistency and not based on its chemical and that is why we have to discuss the properties keeping in mind the these important aspects that will be covered in the next video if you like this video please click the like button subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon and do mention your comments in the comment section i will see you with the second video very soon on aspire 32